do a little bit about chronic inflammatory response syndrome or SIRS. SIRS is the new chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia. So now we have a systems biology approach to treating this cohort of patients, which constitutes 20% of most uh, busy practices uh, cohort of patients. This cohort of patients are usually extremely exhausted with trying to treat a multiplicity of symptoms. They usually go from practitioner to practitioner, trying to get a resolution of symptoms. And um, they go from thinking, oh, it's pyroluria. Oh, it's my candida. Oh, it's leaky gut. And they, they get really excited thinking that, oh, they found it this time and they're going to resolve it. And only to end up frustrated because the leaky gut keeps coming back or um, the candida keeps coming back or the pyroluria, once treated, doesn't resolve all of the other host uh, symptoms. So chronic inflammatory response syndrome is an upstream issue that causes a multiplicity of symptoms from thyroid disorder, leaky gut, um, poor brain blood barrier, um, and hyperperfusion of the capillary bed. So this hypoperfusion or deficiency of capillary um, uh, bed vasodilation causes breathing problems, heart problems, the neuroinflammation or the breakdown in the blood-brain barrier causes uh, brain fog. Um, you end up with a dysregulation of testosterone, estrogen. You gain weight because your leptin goes out of control. And that's all caused by an upstream problem in two central neuropeptides called VIP and MSH. So the story with chronic inflammatory response syndrome as it was discovered by Dr. Shoemaker, who treated a patient who had all of these chronic fatigue-like symptoms and treated her for high cholesterol. And all of a sudden, all of her symptoms started to clear up. And so it was a little bit like discovering, you know, a new recipe by accident and he researched and developed this um, systems biology approach to chronic fatigue, which is now called SIRS. It's just been recognised as a diagnosis in Australia by the health department, and it's quite easy to treat. And I'm just starting now to see my patients resolve their symptoms, and it's changed my practice. So, um, essentially you have to be born with a genetic predisposition via HLA uh, geno genotyping, um, which is a test that you can do through Medicare. If you have these HLA genes and then you get exposed to one of 26 biotoxins, the most common of which is mold, plus you are immune compromised or highly stressed. It's like a perfect storm, all of these things come together and you end up with a massive downregulation in two central neuropeptides, your VIP and your MSH. Those upstream neuropeptides cause dysregulation in all of the uh, downstream inflammatory pathways and um, um, immune um, and hormone pathways from thyroid, female hormones, and um, something called MMP9, which is an enzyme that actually uh, breaks down connective tissue. So that's what it is. That's how you get it. You have to be exposed to a biotoxin and have the genetic predisposition and then usually be immune compromised and highly stressed. So if you think that this might be you, the first thing that you have to do is download the biotoxin questionnaire, which you can do on the link below. The second thing you need to do is go online and do a visual contrast sensitivity test or a VCS test. 
And there's also a link to that below. If both of those come back positive, which means you've got more than six clusters or six or more clusters on the Biotox questionnaire and a positive result for biotoxicity with the visual contrast sensitivity test, then there's, statistically speaking, there's over a 95% chance that you have SIRS and you should book in for a free scoping session with me. And then I will book you in with our nurse practitioner to get the genetic um, test done. At that point, if the genetic test comes back positive, then there's a 98.5% statistical chance that you could have SIRS. And you should definitely then do the rest of the testing. The rest of the testing is expensive and it's functional uh, testing through a, a specialised lab. However, to treat you, we really need to have those tests done. Treating SIRS is very straightforward. The first thing you have to do is bind the uh, toxins, um, replace the fats in the body and get the cell membranes working, the blood brain barrier working, and um, modulate the immune system usually takes about three months to treat someone but it only takes about a month for you to start feeling better so if you think you might have SIRS or someone you know might have SIRS you can have a more re have a read of my blog which is um, got to be rewritten it's written in technical parlance but at least I've got something up on there for you to read and do some of the tests and if they're positive booking for a free scoping session.